guys, it's Fanny and welcome back to another Mukbang food vlog. Today we're in Las Vegas and we're at the restaurant called China Mama. We're going to be eating some Chinese food but before you guys continue watching, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and turn on those post notifications because you know, that'll really really help me out and let's go! This is the menu. They have an assortment of different Chinese foods. Uh, what we're gonna get today is actually the lobster tail in salt and pepper. It looks so good. And then we're also gonna get some steamed juicy pork bun su long bao. Another item we will be getting is, oh, they have the mapo tofu. I love mapo tofu so much. And they also have an assortment of noodles here. I'm gonna be getting the Sichuan tantan noodles. And for seafood, honey walnut shrimp, because I love honey walnut shrimp so much. And so the first item came out, and these are the Sichuan tantan noodles. They look so good, and look at all that chili oil. There's probably gonna be like a really nice numbing spice to this. So, oh, nice noodle pull. Next item we have is the salt and pepper lobster. It looks so amazing. It's like fried to perfection. Just look at that, it's like nice and crispy. Wow. And over here we have is si long bao, which is juicy pork dumplings. And oh, wow, look at it, it's like steaming hot. It's so fresh, it looks beautiful. And this is the honey walnut shrimp. I love how they added broccoli in there because I love broccoli so much. And there's pieces of walnut. The shrimp is like nicely fried and glazed. This is the mapo tofu. It looks so amazing. Look how ginormous it is. And I love mapo tofu so much. So I'm really excited to try this. Uh, their mapo tofu is pretty popular here when I looked on Yelp. So I'm sure it will taste very delightful. So first thing I want to try is actually these si long baos. It's the juicy pork dumplings. You gotta eat these when they're fresh. <laughs> so what I like to do is take my si long bao and then I dip it in the soy sauce and vinegar. Oh yeah, let's get a little bit of chili oil on there too. That looks phenomenal. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Super flavorful inside. I love. I love this marinade that they use on the pork, and it's actually quite juicy. So good. Mm. This one's um squirting out some juice. Let's dip it in some more of this. Oh yeah. A nice juicy bow. So good. Let's see one more. <laughs> I'm addicted to Su Long Bao, guys. Mm. Okay. Next thing up I want to try is um the lobster. So this is a salt and pepper lobster, and it looks so good. It's like fried very nicely, super crunchy, and look at all that seasoning. The lobster meat is very plump and juicy. You gotta be careful of the shell though because the lobster shell is still on there. Super good and I love the salt and pepper seasoning. Mm. Let's get another one. Super crispy, super delightful. What I really love to do is um get all of like the green onions and the seasoning from the salt and pepper and eat it with rice. It's really good. Mm. 
all of those green onions. Oh my goodness, it is so good. Mm. Salt and pepper is one of my favorite flavors to get when I'm at a Chinese restaurant. You guys most have likely tried salt and pepper chicken. It's very popular every time you go to a Chinese joint, but salt and pepper fried lobster tail is like, it takes you to a whole nother level. It's so good. Oops. Just gotta be careful to not eat the shell. Next thing up I want to try is the honey walnut shrimp. This is a very standard Chinese dish. I always get this every time I'm at a Chinese restaurant. It's like a deep fried shrimp and it's glazed in honey and sweetness and there's also some walnuts in there. And I like how they gave broccoli because I love broccoli so much. <laughs> The shrimps are very plump and juicy. There's a nice crunch to them because they're deep fried. So good. Eat some of the walnuts now. Mm -hmm. Honey walnut shrimp really reminds me of childhood. We'd always go to the same Chinese restaurant growing up and we'd always order honey walnut shrimp because that was my favorite and my brother's favorite. He loves honey walnut shrimp so much. There's also some mayonnaise in this mixture so it's like a sweet mayonnaise glaze almost. It's really delicious you guys have not tried it. Definitely something you should add on your uh, must try list. Mm. And the added broccoli is so refreshing. If you guys love broccoli, comment down below, let me know that you're part of that broccoli gang. <laughs> I'm gonna dip this broccoli in uh, some of the chili oil. Mm -hmm. Next up, I have the Sichuan Tantan noodles. There's a bunch of spice on this. And it's just drenched in all this delicious chili oil. Just the way I love it. Mm. Oh, these noodles are really good. I love the noodle texture. It's like soft and chewy and bouncy. The chili oil they use here too is also really nice. You definitely do taste that like numbing spice. It like slowly creeps up on your tongue. This is a Sichuan Tantan noodle, so numbing spice is definitely expected.
to try for some tea, guys. So every time you are at a Chinese restaurant, they always give you tea. So refreshing. All right. Last thing I haven't tried is the mapo tofu. I'm really excited to try this because uh, their mapo tofu is pretty popular here, and it's just drenched in all of this spicy chili oil. I'm just gonna put the mapo tofu with the rice. Mm. Their mapo tofu is really good here. Oh. I love it too because it like comes on this display where there's like a little candle underneath. So this is how they uh, keep the mapo tofu warm. It's like seriously the most cutest and ingenious thing. Mm. This is probably the best mapo tofu I've had actually. Like, it's really good. The seasoning is just one on. And there's like a slight little numbing spice. It's not bad. It's just like slowly trinkling on your tongue and I honestly really love it. Yeah, this mapo tofu is spicy. The more and more I eat it, oh, my nose is running. <laughs> the more and more I eat it, I definitely feel that numbing sensation on my tongue. First it was just like level one, but now it's like starting to be like level five. But I can't stop. It's like, it's painful, but it tastes so good. Hmm. Finish up these lobster tails. Last bite of the noodles, guys. 
Hey guys, that is it for today's mukbang food vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoy this Chinese food mukbang, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and of course subscribe to my channel. Again, I'm at the restaurant called China Mama, located in Las Vegas. I'll leave their information down below in my description box. Check them out. Um, it's really good Chinese food. My absolute favorite chain was definitely the mapo tofu. Like, they make really good mapo tofu. This is by far the best mapo tofu I have actually had to this day. It's so good. I also really enjoyed the salt and pepper lobster tails it's really really delicious so if you guys love like salt and pepper fried chicken definitely try the salt and pepper lobster tail it just like kind of brings it up to a whole new level overall everything was really delicious and i hope you guys enjoyed until next time see you guys bye